Hi everybody, my name is Julia Dunn and you're watching Season 2 of Weekly Wisdom, a webcast that shines light on the experiences, feelings, and thoughts of the families that come to Olivia's house for support. People always wonder, what goes on in the mind of a child after a loss? Why not just ask them? Let's see what this week's question is. Something that's only special to me is this key that he used to carry around. And like, he made this thing to like hang all the keys on, like a long time ago, like. And the one time it got knocked over and it fell off, so then I got thrown in the change jar. And we were going through the change jar and my grandma was like, well, what does this even go to? And we were all like, I don't know. And she's like, well, we might as well get rid of it. And I was like, no, I remember Paul carrying that. Like, I want that. And my cousin and my grandma were both like, so you want a random key that you have no clue what it goes to? And I'm like, yeah, I'll make it a necklace. Yeah. So then I have it on a necklace chain. Um, I think it's only special to me is this bear. Um, I snuggled it that night. It's um, my Nana's cough bear um, for when she had heart surgery. Do you know what a cough bear is? I think it's like when they're like done with the surgery, like they're, they cough a lot, so they like squeeze the bear against them and cough into it. Yeah. Do you ever squeeze the bear against you? So uh, this Christmas, he got me something and it was like a heart necklace and you could put like a picture, I could put like a picture of him in it. And so it's really special to me and I actually wear it like all the time. You don't see it. And so I have it right here. And it, every night he would say, uh, who's my baby girl? And I would say me. And so it says on it, who, my baby girl. And then inside I have a picture of him and then a picture of me and him at my first reading scene. So my great grandma taught me a game. It's called 500. It's a card game. It's really complex. She plays with her friends. But my grandma, she um, was the scorekeeper whenever we played as a family. But um, I started really young, but all the other people who played were like, well, adults. So, but she slowly taught me how to be the scorekeeper. But, and I kept um, the first score sheet that she wrote all down all the details and she helped me write down the scores with her. Wow. So I, kept, I, I have that, but now I'm the family scorekeeper. When a child connects to a tangible reminder of their loved one, it's a symbol of emotional maturity. And it's important to keep in mind, the memories that adults cherish are not always the same as what the child might find a connection with. Whether it's the mystery key you found in the change jar, a piece of jewelry, a teddy bear, or even a scrap of paper with their name written on it. These items help to create the spiritual relationship necessary for the healing to happen. It's the simplest things that can make the biggest difference. We're honored that these children felt comfortable sharing these memories with us. My name is Julia Dunn. This has been Weekly Wisdom. Tune in next week for a very special episode. See you then.